Imagine building a structure so vast, it required pouring 11 million cubic meters of sand, enough to fill 4,400 Olympic swimming pools, just to create its foundation. This colossal engineering feat is part of Brisbane Airport's $5 billion future BNE transformation. Think about this. A new runway stretching 3,300 meters long that is like 33 football fields lined up and 60 meters wide, which is wider than 16 car lanes, all lit by 2,000 special LED lights, has already doubled the airport's capacity. This project is so ambitious, it's like performing open-heart surgery on a patient while they're running a marathon. Every single day, 60,000 passengers move through its gates as construction teams work tirelessly to reshape Queensland's gateway to the world. They are bringing in advanced security with CT scanners that see inside bags in 3D and powering parts of the airport with giant solar panel fields. This is not merely an airport upgrade designed to handle 10 million more travelers in the next decade. It is a complete rebuild. But pulling off such a massive engineering wonder while flights are still landing and taking off brings huge challenges. Will this daring transformation truly change how millions travel and connect Australia to the world? Or will the scale of the task prove too great? Picture a time when Brisbane's airport was just a humble field called Eagle Farm Aerodrome. Imagine the excitement as the very first plane, the Queen of Sheba, touched down. Or when the famous explorer Sir Charles Kingsford Smith landed his Southern Cross after an amazing journey across the ocean. But as planes grew bigger and more people wanted to fly, Eagle Farm became too small. It was like trying to fit a giant into a tiny shoe. So, a big decision was made. Build a whole new airport. They picked a huge area, even moving an entire small community called Crib Island to make way. This enormous space meant long runways could stretch out, ready for the future. Building this new airport was a huge task, they pumped tons of sand from the ocean floor to create solid land where it used to be wet and swampy. Then, the grand new Brisbane Airport opened its gates. Later, it changed hands from the government to a private company. This group took on the challenge of growing the airport even more, pouring billions into upgrades. Their biggest dream? A brand new parallel runway finally came true, doubling the airport's capacity. And that long-term vision is still guiding the airport's amazing journey today. Let's explore the incredible engineering that makes it all happen. Brisbane's new parallel runway, also known as runway 01L19R, is a marvel of modern engineering. It is 3.3 kilometers long, which is like stacking 33 football fields end to end. It is also 60 meters wide, wide enough for a 15 lane highway. The legacy runway is 3,560 meters long, making the new runway a significant addition to the airport's capacity. Building this runway was a huge task. It sits on 11 million cubic meters of dredged sand, a volume equal to 4,400 Olympic swimming pools. This sand was put down first, and then the ground was left to settle for five years because the original soil was very soft and weak. This long settling time was crucial to make sure the runway would be stable for heavy aircraft. The airport is located on a low-lying coastal area, making it vulnerable to flooding and future climate change impacts like sea level rise and storm surges. To make sure the runway can handle these future challenges, it was built to sit 3.53 meters above sea level. This higher elevation helps protect it from rising sea levels and big storm surges showing how engineers planned for the long-term effects of climate change and embedded resilience into the core infrastructure design. The runway itself is built in layers, like a giant cake. It has a base layer of 2,475 millimeters of sand, then 600 millimeters of crushed rock, and finally, a top layer of 125 millimeters of asphalt. The taxiways, which are the paths plane used to get to and from the runway, have a different build. 1,500 millimeters of sand, 200 millimeters of crushed rock, and a thick 490 millimeters of concrete on top. These layers are designed to spread the massive weight of large airplanes. The runway system also includes 12 kilometers of taxiways and 2,000 special LED lights. These lights are super bright and use less energy, helping planes find their way safely day or night. The International Terminal is getting its biggest upgrade in 29 years. 
A key reason for this is a new rule from the Australian government. All security screening equipment must be updated by the end of 2025. This mandate is not just a technical requirement, it is the primary driver for a far more extensive strategic overhaul of the international terminal. The new security machines are much larger and would not fit in the old area, which forced the relocation of security and passport control to level 4, a bright open space. This forced relocation then opened up opportunities for other significant upgrades, including a new retail experience and a streamlined passenger journey. The upgrade also includes new self-service check-in kiosks and automated bag drop points, which helps reduce queues and makes checking in faster and smoother for passengers. The airport is installing Advanced Computed Tomography, or CT, security screening equipment. This is a huge rollout, one of the biggest in Southeast Asia and among the largest globally. CT technology means passengers can leave items like laptops and liquids inside their carry-on bags. Machines create detailed 3D images of a bag's contents, making screener faster and more accurate. This helps reduce the need for bags to be checked by hand. For cabin bags, Brisbane Airport is installing 33 RepaScan 920 CT units. For checked bags and oversized items, there are 10 RepaScan RTT 110 units. There are also 41 RepaScan 4DX Explosive Trace Detection units and 33 Roden Schwartz Quick Personnel Security Body Scanners to ensure high levels of safety. These new machines aim to clear about 80% of all bags automatically, significantly improving efficiency. Behind the scenes, the baggage handling system is getting a complete rebuild. This new world-class system will bring together all checked baggage operations across the entire domestic terminal, replacing three older systems from the 1980s. This upgrade is happening in nearly 100 separate steps to make sure flights keep running smoothly and passengers are not affected too much. This meticulous staged construction, including building a steel frame mezzanine right above the existing baggage system, allows the airport to keep operating while the new energy-efficient conveyor belts and screening equipment are put in place. A key part of this is the new Standard 3 technology baggage screening equipment. This technology is the highest standard for detecting explosives in luggage. It allows for multi-level screening where bags are quickly scanned and only suspicious bags are sent for a closer look. This means most bags move through the system very fast, up to 1,500 bags per hour. The domestic terminal is also seeing major improvements. The P2 car park is being expanded to add 1,700 more car spaces, helping with the growing number of people who drive to the airport. Inside, there will be upgraded departure gate lounges with cafe-style seating and 10 new food and drink options. The bathrooms are also being updated to handle more people, be easier to use and save water. Even the Virgin Australia part of the terminal will get new food and dining choices, including a large 360-degree restaurant. Looking further into the future, Brisbane Airport is already planning a third passenger terminal called Terminal 3. This new terminal will be built between the two existing runways. It is being designed for the 2030s, ready to meet Queensland's future population growth and travel demand. Terminal 3 will connect smoothly with the current terminals and the city's transport network. Brisbane Airport already has on-site accommodation with the 5-star Pullman Hotel and the 3.5-star Ibis Hotel, which opened in 2017. These hotels offer a total of 375 rooms, with the Pullman having 132 rooms and the Ibis having 243 rooms. The Pullman Hotel features a 20-metre lap pool, a lobby lounge bar for up to 60 guests, and a restaurant seating up to 152 people. The Ibis has an alfresco restaurant for 160 diners and a rooftop bar for up to 150 people. Connected to these hotels is the Brisbane Airport Conference and Meeting Centre, covering 1,735 square metres. It can host up to 600 people and includes a 300-seat ballroom and eight conference rooms. These facilities provide convenience for travellers and business visitors right at the airport. The future BNE program is also improving how people get to and from the airport. The P2 car park is being expanded, adding 1,700 new car spaces. This expansion uses sustainable building practices, with 85% of the concrete structure made from lower carbon concrete and 100% recycled steel. It also includes over 1 megawatt of solar panels. 
The Air Park, a budget-friendly parking option, is also being expanded to add another 1,700 new car parks. This project reuses materials from other airport projects to reduce waste and carbon emissions. It uses recycled asphalt, low-carbon concrete for footpaths, and plastic drainage pipes instead of concrete. To support cleaner vehicles, Brisbane Airport is the first in Australia to install a common-use charging system for electric ground support vehicles on the airfield. Currently, 35 chargers are working, with plans to expand to over 100 chargers by 2026. This makes airport operations quieter and more eco-friendly. Beyond passenger services, future BNE includes major industrial projects. Brisbane Airport is building a large parcel facility for Australia Post, covering 31,800 square metres of indoor space. This is like more than three rugby league fields. This facility will have direct access to the airfield and will include over 1,000 solar panels. It is aiming for a five-star Green Star certification for its sustainable design. This project alone is expected to create around 1,500 construction jobs. Brisbane Airport is not just building bigger, it is building greener. The airport has set an ambitious goal to be a net zero airport for its direct emissions, known as Scope 1 and Scope 2 by 2025. This is a big step up from its original goal of 2050. To reach this goal, the airport is using 100% renewable-backed electricity. It has already installed 6 megawatts of solar panels on its rooftops, and another 5 megawatts are being added. This is enough power for thousands of homes. The airport is also working towards sending zero waste to landfill by 2030. They are reusing materials from other projects like old asphalt and concrete in new constructions such as the car parks. For example, 85% of the concrete in the new P2 car park is a lower carbon type and all the reinforced steel is recycled. Brisbane Airport is also a leader in new green technologies. It is the first airport in Australia to install common-use charging stations for electric ground support vehicles on the airfield. Plus, they're even testing hydrogen electric aircraft, with a successful test flight of a ground demonstrator aircraft happening in 2024. The $5 billion future b and &E program is a massive investment that is already bringing big benefits to Queensland. Brisbane Airport is a huge economic engine, contributing $11.3 billion to the local economy. This is seen in record visitor spending and 53.7 million nights spent in the city. The airport expects to handle 10 million more passengers in the next decade, growing from 20 million to 30 million passengers each year. This growth is driven by more people choosing to travel and Queensland's growing population. The program is also getting Brisbane ready to host the 2032 Summer Olympics and Paralympics. This is not merely a response to passenger growth. It is a deliberate, strategic investment directly linked to Brisbane's role as host. The airport is positioning itself as a critical enabler for the city's economic and tourism boom, leveraging the global spotlight of the Olympics to accelerate infrastructure development and maximize long-term regional benefits. So what do you think about Brisbane Airport's massive $5 billion future BNE transformation? Will it change how people travel? Share thoughts in the comments below. If this video was interesting, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you do not miss the next deep dive into incredible engineering projects.